Hi, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. I'm going to create a thank you card using my Big Shot. This thank you card is a special card, however, because it's part of my gratitude giveaway. Today is the big day. My son and I are winging our way to Fiji. We're going to spend a week there, compliments of Stampin' Up. We earned this incentive trip through my sales and my downline promotion. It's the first incentive trip I've ever earned through Stampin' Up. So I'm running a week-long promotion. It's a gratitude giveaway that you won't want to miss over on my blog. Every day I'm going to be posting a different thank you card, and so let's make today's. I'm going to start off with my Big Shot and my Scallop Duo Bigs die. I have a piece of Tempting Turquoise that's cut three and a half inches square, and I'm going to run that through the Big Shot to create a turquoise scallop square that's going to be a background embellishment on the front of my card. So you just need your two standard cutting pads to die cut the scallop square. There we have it there. And I'm pretty much done with my big shot. But now what I want to do is put the card together. So I love bright colors and since spring is here it's time to use some of our brights. So I have pumpkin pie and I have my Tempting Turquoise, I have Whisper White, and Rich Razzleberry. And I'm going to use my Button Buddy stamp set. Sad to say this stamp set will be retiring, so if you love it as much as I do, you'll want to pick it up before May 31st, when it'll be gone forever. So I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap grid sheet. I love these grid sheets. They're great for measuring, but they're also great for stamping off. I'm going to take my Tempting Turquoise, I'm going to ink up the flower image from Button Buddies, I'm going to stamp it down over here, and then I'm going to clean it. Stamp off until I know it's nice and clean. And then I'm going to do the same with my Pumpkin Pie ink pad. I'm going to ink up the same flower and I'm going to stamp it down like that. And then before the video began, I created a third flower using Rich Razzleberry. I did the same thing. I stamped it on a piece of scrap Whisper White cardstock and then I punched it out using my one and three quarter inch scallop punch and that's going to be an embellishment on the front of my card. But I want to put the card together first. Bring in my snail adhesive. And so I'm going to adhere this Whisper White to a layer that's about an eighth of an inch larger than the Whisper White layer. And then I'm going to put some more snail adhesive on and I'm going to adhere it to the Tempting Turquoise Scallop Square that I created with my Big Shot. And then I'll bring in my Pumpkin Pie card base and I think I have some Stampin' Dimensionals. They're probably sitting right in front of me. There we go. And so I am going to raise up the scallop square on the front of my card. I'm going to put it over here, like so. And then I'm going to bring in my Rich Razzleberry flower and I'm going to put a Stampin' Dimensional on the back of it and raise it up. And then I'm going to use one of my Brights buttons and I already went ahead and put some uh, Whisper White Baker's Twine through it. I couldn't find my darning needle so I didn't want you to have to sit and watch me try and thread this um, thread the baker's twine through the button. 
and I'm going to put that in the center like so and then the last thing I want to do is create a phrase I don't know if you've heard about the paper pumpkin program but the starter kit or the welcome kit for paper pumpkin has this really cute phrase that says hey there friend and so I'm going to use my tempting turquoise and I'm going to ink up the phrase stamp it down and then I'm going to bring in my small oval punch and it just ever so slightly fits there we go then let's see I think what I'm going to do is put some snail adhesive on that side and I'm going to put a Stampin' Dimensional on the other side. And I think I'll put it right up there. And there we go. A really cute thank you card, which is what it's going to be. I can write a thank you note inside to thank somebody for placing an online order for, through me. For a complete listing of the supplies and the measurements, please hop on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. You won't want to miss my blog. For the next seven days, I have my gratitude giveaway with thank you cards posted each and every day for the next seven days. You can place an order through the link on my blog. You can check out the classes that I'll be having in the next couple of months. You can ask me a question or there's lots of other samples you can look through. I'm Terry. I am Nuts About Stamping. See you next time. Bye for now.